Welcome to another episode of the Love Hub channel, where we discuss matters of the heart and give relationship advice for women. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's episode, we are going to discuss the eight signs to look for to tell if your husband is cheating on you. So let's get started. Sign one, he's starting to communicate less with you. If in the past you've had a stable line of communication and all of a sudden or gradually over a period of time, he started to communicate with you less, that may be a sign that his attention is elsewhere. For a marriage to work, a husband and wife should be able to communicate with each other. They should be able to talk to each other about their feelings, their thoughts, or even just how their day is going. If all of a sudden your husband is starting to communicate less or is being unresponsive, that's a big red flag and you need to sit down with him and talk about it. Take this moment to reflect on your marriage. Was there ever a time when your husband would come home from work tired and hungry and he tried to share some of his feelings with you, like maybe something bad at work happened? How did you respond? Did you give him any comfort? Did you even pay attention? Or did you just brush it off? Usually, when men start to emotionally stray from their spouse, it's because they're not able to find the comfort that they're looking for, and it's just possible that he's found it elsewhere. But please take note, not everything that goes wrong in your marriage is your fault. If your husband is emotionally straying, it's good to look back and reflect on what went wrong in your marriage. Chances are, both of you had a hard time communicating with each other. Somewhere along the way, things broke down. There's still time to repair it. So don't lose hope and don't blame yourself. Sign 2. The intimacy is gone. When two adults love each other, there is a yearning for them to be physically together. They would always want to touch each other. They would always want to hold each other's hands. Of course, at some point, the honeymoon phase ends and you may not be as intimate as you were before. But the intimacy shouldn't be completely gone. A man will always want to be physically close with the person that he is attracted to, with the person that he loves. So when all of a sudden the intimacy has just completely gone out the window, that is a red flag. Why doesn't he want to be physically close to you? Why doesn't he want to hold your hand? Why doesn't he want to lay in bed with you? These are questions that you need to sit down and discuss with your husband because something may be going on here. Sign 3. He updated his style. Of course, this doesn't always mean that your husband is cheating. It's very possible that he just decided to change his fashion. That's completely normal. But when all of a sudden you notice that he's starting to dress better and look better and smell better, but he's just going to the office, that's a big red flag. You know your husband better than anybody else. You know his routines. You know how he dresses. So if all of a sudden he's wearing a nice shirt just to go to the office and there's no office party, that's something that maybe you should look a little bit into. Sign four, they're being very protective of their phone. If in the past they had no problem texting in front of you or picking up the phone in front of you when it rings, but all of a sudden they now have to rush out of the room when somebody calls or when somebody texts, that's really suspicious. Of course, everyone is entitled to privacy, even spouses. But if in the past he had no problem talking to Bob or Jane or Bill in front of you, but now all of a sudden he has to run out of the room just to pick up the phone and talk to somebody, that's really suspicious. A man who has no secrets to hide will not hide. Sign five, there are mysterious purchases on your credit card. When you're going through your bank account statements and you see a big bill from a restaurant, you need to look back and figure out where was your husband that day? What did he tell you? 
Did he tell you that he was going to go hang out with a bunch of friends or grab a beer or two after work? You need to look into this, especially when the amount that you see on your credit card statement doesn't match the scenario that he's telling you. If he's out just having a beer by himself, but you see $65 on the bill, yeah, that's suspicious. Sign six. They're obsessively following another person on social media. Since you're a married couple, chances are you know each other's friends. In fact, most of your friends are mutual. So if all of a sudden he's following somebody new and he's not just following her on one social media site, but on all social media sites, that's a red flag. Is he liking all her posts? Is he commenting on all her posts? Do you even know who this person is? Has he talked about her? Has he introduced her? These are the things that you need to ask yourself. Sign seven, there's a big change in his routine. As his wife, you know his routine better than anybody else. You know what time he gets up in the morning. You even know what brand of toothpaste he uses. So if all of a sudden there's a dramatic change in his routine, that's suspicious and you need to look into it. For example, if he always comes home at exactly 4.30 in the afternoon, but all of a sudden he starts coming home at 9 in the evening, that's a big change. And you need to ask yourself, why is he coming home so late? Are his co-workers also going home at 9 in the evening? You need to look into it. Sign 8. Your gut instinct is telling you that something's wrong. Women's intuition is a powerful thing. And yes, we don't always get it right. Nobody in this world will always get it right 100% of the time. But you know your husband better than anybody. You know his routines. You know who his friends are. You may even have met his co-workers. I'm sure you have. So if you can't shake that feeling off, that something is wrong, that something is going on, you need to take that seriously. These are just some of the signs to look out for. If you're watching this video, chances are you already feel that maybe something's not right in your marriage. It doesn't always mean that your husband is cheating on you. So don't jump to conclusions. It's important that you sit down and talk to your husband. Have an open and honest conversation with him. It's the only way to get to the truth. But no matter what, you are strong and brave. You will get through this. And hopefully, things between you and your husband will get better. We at The Love Hub will always be here for you. Until next time.